So we've just moved house and there's a train carriage in our backyard. Some of the houses we looked at didn't even have a carriage, so we felt lucky to get one. Alright, that's my attempt at humour. But we loved the house and we were intrigued by the carriage. But what do you do with a train carriage? Convert it into an art studio, of course. I haven't done anything yet, so the wonderful reveal part of this video is probably a good year or two away. But I need your help. Not down here with your tools, but I do need your thoughts. First, some quick background. It's called a Tate train, built for the suburban railways of Melbourne, Australia. The locals quickly gave these trains the nickname of the Red Rattler. It was built around 1915 and converted to overhead electrical operation in the early 1930s. I call it a carriage, but it also contains the driver's cab and a spot for the conductor. And uh, as we just have a quick look inside, we pass the sign saying guard and we get to go inside. And so here we see firstly the driver's cab. Everything needs a lot of work, I've noticed, but that's part of the fun. There's a gauge there of some use, I'm sure. And this is where the guard would sit um, as the train was coming along. And uh, he could, uh, of course, go and look through this little window which we'll have a little look through it as well and see the entire length of the passenger part of the carriage. So what to do with it? As you can see there's height, this is one of the things that worried me that there be, wouldn't be enough room for me to actually set up an easel but there's actually plenty of height because of the channel in the middle and there's actually an awful lot of room and um, if you look here, you see all the way down, of course, I would take all of the chairs out, maybe leaving a few chairs just at either end of the cabin, but all the rest would go. I'd create a big open space and uh, lots of work to do, lots of things to clean up. The other thing that was important to me was light. As you can see, there are windows on either side. And uh, in Australia, we would want to use the southern windows facing away from the main, in the southern hemisphere, facing away from the main light that comes. And uh, I would probably put blinds or something on the northern windows. So how would you set up a space like this as an art studio? Well, I've had a bit of a think about that. Here's my overview plan. Starting from the left, just a hangout area with a coffee table and a nice big chair and a little bar fridge. Then my main painting area, the subject on the north, uh, light coming from the south. We'll come back to that in a moment. Uh, a lovely big uh, area of storage, a couple of salvaged train chairs. Then a great big layout table. It's almost like I've got more space than I need and I'm trying to fill it some rack storage, and even some kids' easels where they can do some stuff at the, at the end. So my main area, um, I've got the idea of putting the subject on the north, the light coming from the south, I've got my benches and my shelving, and I'm there as the blocky looking artist uh, down near the bottom, all the light coming from the south. So there you have it, my idea to turn a train carriage into an art studio. I'm possibly mad. I'm not sure whether, you know what, it looks like an awful lot of work. As you look through it, so much restoration to be done. But that's what I'm gonna do. Look, if you've got any ideas on how I could do this easier or better from what I've shown you so far, drop something in the comments. I'm really happy to hear from anyone I've never done this before. I've never done anything like this before. But to create a carriage into an art studio sounds like something fun to do. An artist needs their space. You often only just need a little corner, to be honest. So this is probably complete overkill. But it's away from the house, and that's kind of important. My wife doesn't like the smell of oil paint even though I tell her it's only the solvents that smell and I don't use many solvents. So, you know, as my Jewish friend said to me once, happy wife, happy life. 
So I'm going to create an art studio down there. If you've got any ideas, let me know. See you next time when we'll be back to looking at art. Thanks. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please press like. If you want to be notified when I put out more reactions to great art, please subscribe. See you next time.